My name is Suresh. I am from Civil Department, IIR College, Delhi. So welcome to Surveying and Geomatics Lab. So in this lab, we discuss about various traditional instruments which are used to measure an area and volumes on Earth surface. So first of all, let us discuss what is surveying. So surveying is an art of determining the various position of points on above and beneath the Earth surface with the help of linear and angular measurements at a specified distance, directions and locations. So, in today's lab, let us discuss about how to measure an area using chain survey. Measurement of closed towers using chain survey. So, it is the oldest traditional method where people used to use different types of chains in survey. So, there are various chains available in market. So, starting from metric chains, we are having 20 meter and 30 meter length. For 20 meter length chain, we have 100 links. For 30 meter length chain, we are having 150 links. And we have Bloomberg chain, 66 feet long and 100 links. Revenue chain, 100 feet long, 100 links. Engineer chain, 33 feet long, 16 links. And uh, steel band, it's about 100 feet long and 500 feet long. So, these are the basic chains which we are used in survey. So, in our survey lab, we use a chain which belongs to metric chain. So, we call the standard chains. So, they may be 20 meter or 30 meter length. So, to measure an area using closed towers with chain survey, we require three apparatus. My apparatus are metric chain, ranging rod, height 4 meter, cross top, and pegs. These are the apparatus which are used to measure an area in survey. So, let, let me show the apparatus for you people. Now, so see here. These are your metric chain. So this chain is about 20 meter length. You can see it, the chain having two brass handles. The chain having two brass handles and we have links for the chain. And in the on the chain, we cannot read readings. To read readings manually, we have uh, brass rings at every one meter. See here, for every one meter length, you have a brass ring like this. So, it, this ring indicates this length is 1 meter on the ground. So, the length is calculated from the edge of the brass handle to the center of this ring. This is a 20 meter chain. This 20 meter chain have 100 rings. So, the center of this ring to the center of the another ring. This distance is called as a link distance. For 20 meter chain, we are having around such that 100 link distances are there in 20 meter chain length. And you can see a brass ring at every 1 meter length here. And you can see tallies. So, tallies are available at every 5 meter interval. So, this dimensional tally reads a length of 5 meter. And this dimensional tally also reads a length of 5 meter in 20 meter chain. And this dimensional tally, you can see a number here printed on the tally. This indicate 10 meter length on a 20 meter chain. For 20 meter chain, we have 3 tallies and for 30 meter chain, we have 5 tallies. Okay. So now, how to measure an area on field. Now, apart from chain, we also use cross stars. So these are wooden cross stars which are used to take the perpendicular angle on the survey line. So you can see a cross on the wooden cross star. So, these cross have rectangular box. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 cross stops and these make an angle of 180 degree and these also make an angle of 180 degree and each quadrant makes an angle of 90 degree. So, this is called wooden cross stops. So, with this cross stop, we can make an angle of only 180 degree on x and y axis. Apart from this cross stop, we also use a ranging rod. So, this is called a ranging rod. These are, this is rod of height 3 meters. So, this rod indicates a height of 1 meter. Similarly, we have 3 rods make a set of height 3 meter as per the standards. And apart from this, we also use pegs. So, these are called pegs. These pegs are used to mark the position of point on the ground surface. So, these pegs are made up of MS, MRI, mild steel. 
Okay, so these are kept at regular intervals where we want to uh, trace a point on the ground surface. Now, let us discuss a procedure to measure an area using chain surveying a closed dots. So, first of all, we select the point A and B for the given data. So, their surveyor will give you a given data to trace, to trace the area as per the requirement. So, you may, you may see this type of figure on your worksheets. So, this is the starting survey point O or 0 and ending point is 25 meters. So, AB is called a survey line. So, initially we measure AB with the help of the survey chain or measuring chain, metric chain 20 meter along the length from 0 to 25 meter. From 0 to 25 meter, you measure the survey line OB on the ground surface. With the help of these perpendicular offsets, with the help of these perpendicular offsets, you will trace perpendicular offsets on the ground with the help of this cross graph. And you keep arranging rod at an interval as mentioned in the figure. From 5 meter, from 5 meter length on ground, you, you with the help of the cross graph, you keep arranging rod at 5 meter interval. Similarly, at 10 meter point, you keep a cross graph at point 10 and you measure 15 meter interval on the ground. Similarly, on survey line AB, at point 15 meters, with the help of cross graph, again you take a perpendicular offset of length 10 meters. And if you join all these points, you get a plan like this. So, this is the survey area which we have to trace out. So, in this, after joining the, all the points from various corners, you get 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles and 1 trapezium as shown in the figure. So, we know the basic fundamental formulas to calculate an area of triangle and to calculate an area of a trapezium. So, the fundamental formulas from mathematical equation are area of triangle half into base into height and area of trapezium half into A plus B into H. So, when you know the size and length and width of all the uh, parts of a triangle and trapezium, you will find the area and you calculate all the parts together for entire area. So, this is working on the principle of working from pole to part letter. And result, result of this experiment will be the sum of the sum of all the areas what you have calculated individually for each sector or section of the field. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.